This just might be the most powerful luxury car in the world. Beauty's Yang Wang. Uh, Beauty went, you know what? 1,250 horsepower, not enough. Not enough. We need to change it. It's got a 1,000 volt architecture, by the way. This is a legit luxury car. It's actually not a rival to the Su-7 Ultra or like a Tesla Model S Plaid. But anyway, BYD said, you know what? It just doesn't have enough power. We're gonna increase it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And if you haven't already, please, well, for your own benefit, subscribe to our newsletter. I'll put a link in the description below. Just click on the description below. There'll be a link there. And then you'll be able to actually get updated regularly with our videos. Otherwise, you're not going to see them in your feed. Very unlikely you will. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. BYD has just revealed the new Yang Wang U7, or at least regulatory filings in China have shown us this new car. Previously, this is a new model, by the way, the U7. It's only been out for about six months. It had 960 kilowatt, which is 1,287 horsepower. It's a five-seat family luxury car a sedan. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really look like a performance vehicle. But Buidi said, you know what? 1,287 horsepower, that's not enough. We need... 1,341 horsepower. So they increased the car's power by 40 kilowatt, which puts it at 1,000 kilowatt, which is 1,341 horsepower. Now, if today's luxury sedans have 1,000 kilowatt, how much power will they have in 10 years from now? Well, seeing as Buity has an electric supercar with 3,000 horsepower, I'd say that that's inevitable. It's coming. The horsepower, uh, battle, challenges, wars, they're already, they're already on. We know that, right? Manufacturers are competing for this. But here's the thing. You can already get these really small electric motors, yeah, that put out 700 horsepower each and weigh only 13 kilograms. So really, there's almost no weight penalty to having massive horsepower. With internal combustion cars, you need to have a six-liter V8 twin turbocharged engine. It's huge. It uses massive amounts of fuel. It's heavy. You've got to work out the car's dynamics to make it work because it's really going to be nose heavy or you've got to try and make it mid-engine and there's heaps of engineering involved there. Uh, just the suspension. So the front suspension, it's harder than the... Uh, lots of things go on, right? With EVs, pretty much none of that because you can stick these smaller and smaller motors that have more and more power than ever before. And it's kind of scary. It's kind of dangerous. Think about it this way. Um, a Model 3 performance, yeah, I mean, today you can already get them for, I don't know, thirty to 40000 US dollars secondhand, even cheaper than that sometimes, depending on the model. That's going to be the cars our 18-year-old children will be driving 10 years, yeah? And they're already a bit under-braked for the performance. We're talking 0 to 100 in three seconds. That's supercar performance. I don't think 18-year-olds driving those is necessarily a good idea, but it's going to happen. But then... The 18-year-olds of the future, what are they going to be driving? I don't know. Hopefully those cars protect the kids, though, because otherwise they're going to kill themselves. Dimensions. This is a big sedan. It's very big. It's 5,360 millimeters long. It's one of the biggest sedans in the world. It's two meters wide as well and has a wheelbase of 3.2 meters. It's also, I believe, the heaviest sedan in the world. It has a total weight of 3,000. 223 kilograms, which is 7,105 pounds. I've looked this up, and according to ChatGPT on uh, Grok as well, this is actually the heaviest sedan in the world. Now, if you know of one that's heavier, please let me know what that is in the comments below, because I don't know of one. 3,223 kilograms. Amazing. Anyway, like its predecessor, the new U7, will come with Buildy's two-liter engine producing 200 kilowatts. It's a two-liter turbocharged engine. So this is actually a plug-in hybrid. And But the notable most biggest changes, though, come to the four electric motors, which are the, the showstoppers of the car. Two of them have 260 kilowatt and two of them have 240 kilowatt. So two at the rear, 260 each, 
two at the front, 240 each for a total of 1000 kilowatt. And yeah, you can see really, really see why this is so heavy. You combine a big battery with four motors and an additional engine at the front, which I think is completely unnecessary. I think it'd be better off without that engine. And yeah, you basically have an exceptionally heavy car. In order to handle all that weight, it has some pretty damn impressive suspension called Dysus Z electromagnetic suspension. And this suspension system applies electromagnetic principles previously used in aircraft carriers. Apparently they are electromagnetic catapults and maglev trains. This technology has been used in those. And BYD says it's a global first for automobiles. It's meant to decrease body roll and also basically read the road so that it can kind of turn while you turn. So what that means is the car kind of turns into a corner so that you don't feel the body roll on that corner. The Dyser C fully electronic vertical body control system uses data from LiDAR and cameras to detect road conditions half a second in advance. And this allows the suspension to automatically adjust the vehicle's height and damping to improve the ride. And apparently it's incredibly good. Starting price, it's certainly not cheap. It costs 87,000 US dollars. So it's more expensive than a Xiaomi Su7 Ultra, but it's not there to compete with that car. It's a big luxury car. It's meant to compete with high-end sedans from Mercedes-Benz S-Classes to BMW 7 Series to the Audi A8L. And to be honest, it does seem incredibly technologically impressive. I just think it's technologically kind of nonsensical. I mean, why do you need 1,000 kilowatt in an enormous sedan? that weighs 7,250 pounds. It's really quite strange of a car. Would I own one? Well, if they gave me one, sure. But um, it's certainly not the kind of vehicle that really appeals to me personally. It's intriguing though. Guys, what are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.